Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB Ubuntu using the Gported. So, first step is to download the Windows 11 ISO image. So, open uh, your favorite browser or simply use the default browser which is coming with the Ubuntu itself. Simply search for download Windows 11 ISO and I get the Windows 11 ISO latest uh, version from Microsoft's official website. So hold on a moment, please. And after that one, you have to basically, I'm going to select the last option, which is Windows 11 ISO image. I select the addition and now click download. And now choose a, a language for it and now click confirm. And now simply click 64 bit download and now save it. And it's going to save the file to your computer. So for now, I'm going to cancel it because I already have it. So if I have to show you, it is in the downloads directory, which I have simply imported from my main PC into here. If I have to go to properties, the size is around 4 GB. So it is clear. The second step is you have to attach the USB flash drive to your computer, which I have already done. So there is no need for me to attach it. Third step is to install Gported into your computer. Now, there are basically two ways that you can install Gported on, into your computer. The first step is that you can use for the Ubuntu software, and the other step is you can use Terminal, which I prefer because it is a lot faster compared to the uh, Terminal, so, sorry, the uh, software. And once it is launched, you have to simply type sudo apt install Gported, which I have already installed it. Uh, there is no need for me again to install it saying that Gpot it is already to the newest version. Now the other step is you have to simply uh, launch the Gpot it. Now click type sudo Gpot it and it's going to launch here. Uh, now you can also search, uh, I mean launch the Gpot it from uh, launchpad 2. Just simply search for Gpot it and now launch it again. It does not matter which version you are using. So uh, now once it is launched from here you have to select the USB flash drive now uh, by default you can see that it is a bootable USB flash drive of Windows 11 so for now I have to delete all of them and then I will show you how to create them again from the beginning so let me I have to select it I mean delete it first you have to unmount it then you have to delete it. sorry for that one now delete okay it is deleted so for now uh, click apply and apply and uh, a moment please and it is closed okay uh, basically once uh, it is basically uh, removed we need to create a partition for it now go to device and now click partition table from here you have to select a partition style for windows which basically we are going to choose gpt windows level requires gpt and now uh, click apply uh, remember that it's also going to remove i mean raise your usb flash drive and nothing will be remainder so back up your files next step is you have to create a partition uh, yeah a partition file system sorry not partition a file system for it so by default linux partial is a uh, file system is uh, ext4 for now uh, windows is using ntfs or the fat 32 uh, also so for now we are going to choose the ntfs we can also label the usb flash drive so i'm going to name it windows 111 because the usb flash drive which previously we created was windows 11 so there will be a small differentiate between them click add and now you can see that basically it is done but changes have not applied so click apply and now wait for uh, it now you can see that basically it is a uh, partition is created now everything only file system is remained so wait for it okay once it's done you can close it easily is done so there is no need for us to right here okay the next step is go open files uh, go to the downloads folder where Windows 11 is located 
now right click on it and choose open with disk image mounted so here you can see that basically this is the disk image i mean windows 11 is mounted here so you have to copy all of them right click copy and now go to the usb flash drive and now paste all of them here remember that during the copy of the files you will not face any type of error if you face any type of error during the copy of the files it means the windows 11 iso that you downloaded from internet has been corrupted maybe for a lack of maybe uh, maybe the speed of your internet connection was not fast and somehow it downloaded but the end it got corrupted for some reason so Basically, this is how you can create a Windows 11 bootable USB. So for now, I am going to wait until the files should be copied uh, from the ISO inside USB flash drive.